Hello, Media Mail Gang. It's Katie with Katie Reads. And Izzy and I are doing some... Izzy. <laughs> we are doing some estate sale hunting today. We're here about 15 minutes early. There's already a line, of course. It's a one day only sale. The first stop, I went to the one day only sale. So that way, all the other sales, it's like their last day, 50% off, a lot of stuff picked over. This one is gonna be a little different. I'll try and record as much as I can inside and take you guys along with me. So I hate doing voiceovers in like every single video, but I'm not really narrating as I go, so <laughs> that's why I do a lot of voiceovers in my videos. But anyways, I found the books right away, obviously. Sorting through them, grab the Clifford books. That's a no-brainer. I do those in lots, and I'll talk about that in the next clip after this estate sale. Same thing with Magic School Bus. Grab that all day. Uh, this I didn't grab. I do have a listing out already of like over 80 different books and I don't know what ones I'm missing so I just decided to pass on that one and I did grab those and the Arthur book. Now this is my first time actually finding these two together so I can make a lot for them. And I think I can get 15 to 20. And I do talk about that in the clip after the estate sale. But I was pretty excited to find that set together. A lot of these I scanned. It's fiction or not very popular nonfiction. And so Amazon was kind of a bust with those. I did check comps on that. Not great. The books were just crazy. I did find a book for Amazon, and this kind of shows you here. It's a 14 e-score and 991,000 ranks. It's pretty low rank, under a million. Profit's pretty decent for a dollar into it. Looking at some of the vintage and antiquarian, they just wanted so much. They wanted $4 for hardback and older books. This set sells pretty well, too, but it was missing a few of them, so I passed. Here's another room where they had a lot of vintage board games, a super creepy crib, and super creepy dolls. Like, <laughs> there's just so much creepiness in this clip, guys. A bunch of knick-knack glass stuff I know nothing about. I did take a glance at some of the clothing. I do regret not buying some of these because they I think they wanted like $2 a jacket or something. It wasn't anything crazy. I do regret not buying them just to see what I could potentially have gotten for them either on eBay or Poshmark. Shout out to this person. They were really involved with the American Red Cross and that's that's a pretty cool legacy to leave. Yeah. Looking at some of these old vintage toys, a lot of them are broken, missing pieces, just really tough condition, rough condition, I guess. Grab this vintage Clifford. That was awesome. That was a good find. That'll be good to add to my lot. Oh, cool. Kind of browsing the rest of the books here. Now we're down in the basement and I find this like risque jokes book and I'm going to take a chance on it. The comps were okay for it so I'm going to take a chance and see what I can sell it for. Again shout out to this person they were really involved with American Red Cross and I kind of liked the slogan it was cute starve mosquitoes give your blood to people. This whole room was like glass and glassware and vintage cookware stuff. I probably could have done some more research, but I just didn't want to spend a bunch of time in one room. I almost grabbed that Spartans hat, but it was pretty dirty, and I just don't want to put a bunch of work into cleaning right now if I don't have to. All right, Media Mail Gang, so we are done with that estate sale. The problem with estate sales is like you really don't know the prices until you get there unless you're familiar with that estate sale company and you know how they typically price stuff. I'm not in my local area. I spent $17 and um, the books I grabbed, uh, this is for Izzy. Izzy wanted this book. This um, I'm going to lot up with a bunch of other books that I have that are Black Lagoon. 
Uh, these vintage Arthur books do pretty good. I get these in a lot of free 99 book pickups that I do. So I'm gonna lot this together. This I'm going to lot together as a set. I think I could get 15 to 20 for it as a set. Um, they're in pretty okay condition. I mean, there's wear, but they're, they're in all right condition. Then I've got a pretty decent set of Clifford books. Some of them are pretty vintage, like this one's pretty vintage. Uh, just based on the illustration, you can kind of tell that the book is older. And when you open it up, you can see right here in the copyright page, this is from the 60s. So yeah, I will lot that up together. And I already have a big stack at home, so I'm probably looking at like a $60 price point for everything that I have. This one I'm taking a chance on. It's called Over Sexteen. It's supposed to be like risque jokes, I guess. <laughs> the book's in pretty decent condition. It's a little beat up on the corners and there's no dust jacket, but I'm gonna give it a shot. It's been selling anywhere from 10 to 15. And then this book, Up Front by Bill Malden. It's like a war book. This one's selling for pretty decent as well. Magic School Bus. I have a bunch of lots of this at home, so I'm gonna lot them together. For a dollar, I'll, I'll pay that. Probably wouldn't pay more than that just because it's one children's book. And this, I scanned, bought it for a dollar, and $18 potential profit for Amazon FBA. So total potential profit from this stop is a little tricky to navigate because uh, I'm doing so many lots. But I would say between Amazon, Amazon paid for the total. So there's that, so everything else is profit. So that kind of gives you an idea, depending what I can get for the Jurassic Park books as a lot, and then all the children's books as a lot once I get home and, and put them together. I try to collect sets over time. So like Black Lagoon, that I'll eventually have a set, so that'll probably be a, a pretty penny that I can list that for. So next we have a couple more estate sales to hit up. I might stop by some garage sales on the way. We have to go to the bathroom though. So that part, <laughs> that always happens after the first sale. It always happens. Drop a comment. Does that always happen to you after the first couple estate sales or garage sales that you hit up? Is it bathroom time? Cause I feel like that always happens to me. Okay, we are refueled, recharged. I got my cream soda in honor of my grandma. That was one of the few pops we were allowed to drink at her house. <laughs> that and squirt. She wasn't a big pop drinker, but that was a pop that she always had on hand for us. Next is the next estate sale, and we're going to take you with us. So shout out to more creepy dolls at the second estate sale. One caught my eye. I thought it might have been a vintage like Cabbage Patch doll, but oof. It's all beat up. Not what I was expecting, especially for the price that they wanted and it wasn't Cabbage Patch, it was Fruit Kids. I didn't bother looking it up because the condition was just nasty. I feel like I wouldn't be able to get an amazing price point. So anyways, I found the books. That's what I'm here for. You already know the deal. So, Pots and Pans, shout out Hustle and Hooks. There wasn't any Revere wear, which sucked couple of things I almost grabbed but I passed but yeah anyways back to the books let's let's scan some books and see what we can find
Here I'm just pretty much browsing through all the dollar items that they had and I'm deciding to grab some of these figurines because for a dollar plus the 25% off, it's, it seems kind of worth it. I think I could get something for some of these little Smurf guys, so we'll see. But obviously you guys know why I'm here. I'm here for the books gonna get ready to scan all of these and see what treasures I can find. Went through the CDs a little bit too, nothing amazing. You guys know I love my Time Life books, but the damage on these ones are just too nasty, especially with the Boxing and dusting on it and how they're kind of bowed out the hardcover so nah Edgar Case is usually a pretty good bolo for me too he's really well known uh, but the damage on the spine and then the damage on the outside pages it just wasn't a pickup for me so I had to pass on it so these are cool but the prices were just oof, had to pass. So, shout out Brujeria. <laughs> this, it was labeled Mexican Donkey. <laughs> Not everyone who knows me knows I love Halloween. I actually ended up grabbing some stuff from a totally different holiday, though, once I looked over and saw that they had a lot of ephemera and cards and other things from vintage Halloween, sorry, vintage Valentine's. And it was just super cute. And for $2 each, plus the 25% off, I figured I could lot some of them together and see what I could get for them. So here I'm pretty much just going through them all and deciding which ones I wanted to grab. I ended up grabbing the ones that were a little bit sturdier, not the paper thin ones, and the ones that were all in some type of case plastic covering. I just felt like those ones were a little bit better quality than the other ones. So I'm grabbing all of these. Left that one. That one was like super paper thin and I just didn't wanna didn't wanna mess with that one. This one was super cute. It was like a wintry Valentine one, which you don't see those very often. So that's definitely like a Midwest type Valentine's Day. <laughs> These were so cool, but uh, for $25, I could not justify that purchase, not even for my personal collection. 
that was super cute too. I wanted to grab those candle holders, but yuck, so pass. Bruh. For real? had to go to the creepy basement and say hi to the ghosts just kidding i can usually tell when a house has some weird stuff going on this house wasn't like that at all actually these were super cute i just don't know i just don't know how i would have sold these but they were super cute especially the doctor one that was really cute this was fun to find, especially the tequila. I don't think I could sell that on eBay though. If I could, I just feel like it's asking for trouble. So <laughs> I put it back. So I noticed these beer steins they can do pretty well for me. I actually, I think I pick one of them up. Yep, here I am picking one of them up. Budweiser. I think the price point is what turned me off. And maybe the brand. Because I feel like I looked some of these up and the, the profit just wasn't there for them. Yeah, I think it was the price point that kind of turned me off from it. But a lot of them from were from the 80s, which is pretty cool. Man, I was so disappointed with these toys and the board games. They were just, the prices were crazy high or literally eBay or higher than eBay. I was just really bummed at some of the toys. And the board games weren't much better a lot of the board games were really beat up too or they repackaged them this they wanted too much for could have sold that if they would have taken about ten dollars less <laughs> so i pretty much just browsed through the board games just to see if there's any outliers anything that maybe they underpriced that i could sneak by them and try and resell and I always look for Ouija boards. Those sell really fast and really well, so I always look for those just in case. I would probably pay up for a Ouija board, but they didn't have anything like that. So I moved on to the next room. So shocker, this estate sale also had high electronic prices. <laughs> All of these would have been some decent flips on eBay. Literally this entire basket would have been decent flips for eBay. But the price point, like that GPS was missing wires and cords and stuff. So it literally would have had to been sold for parts. Just kind of bummed at the prices for some of the electronics. The books were okay, but everything else seemed a little high. And this house had so many unique, obscure items because these people were travelers. And, you know, just really beautiful stuff. Just stuff that I couldn't really afford to purchase and then try and resell. Guys, we are getting into the home stretch. It's about 12.45. That last estate sale, you guys saw me pretty much grab everything that I chose to make a purchase on. The total was $35 after the 25% off that they had going on. I believe the Olympus camera may be able to pay for the whole purchase and everything else could be profit. 
at worst case, the Olympic camera and one of the Amazon books will pay for my whole purchase. But kind of striking out with the Amazon books, finding more for eBay right now. So this next sale, we'll see if we can find some profits for Amazon. I just had to refund a buyer. It was a small purchase, 20 bucks, but they're claiming that the book smells like smoke, which I don't smoke and I typically don't buy books from smokers. So I'm not sure where this is coming from, but it's just one of those things. So I'm in the process of refunding them. Well, I've already done it. I've refunded them. So I definitely got to find a $20 bill to make up for that and see what else I can find for some profit. Shout out Martin Luther. Now the couple at this estate sale, they traveled over 60 different countries apparently. I, I don't even know if there's 60 countries to travel. <laughs> like I'm just not educated when it comes to geography. But apparently they have traveled 60 different countries. So I mean the magnets, the postcards, the knickknacks, the... The books, like they had so many books from different countries, different languages. I really made a killing at the sale for books. Um, if they would have allowed me to purchase all these postcards for a cheaper price instead of being firm on wanting them individually priced, I would have grabbed them. But I kind of wanted to show you guys all the cool different ones that they had. I've tried to sell these Kodak cameras before, the Instamatic. It sat and sat in my store forever and I started I ended up selling it at like a garage sale, so I'm not gonna make that mistake again. So I passed on that. And here we're looking at the books. I'm pretty much looking for more of that science fiction author Isaac that I grab. Uh, he was sprinkled kind of throughout the entire house, so every single box of books I was kind of looking for him. And any other eBay books that I knew would be a slam dunk. So if this had been the full set of the Dark Tower series, I would have grabbed it, but a lot were missing, so I decided to pass on that. Shout out Creepy Basements. Ugh, so many more books and a ton of CDs and DVDs, so I was down here for quite a while. 
Shout out Martin Luther again. Hey. So, so here, here is, is the killing the damage. Whew, it's hot. I'm trying to get that AC rolling. Okay. So I spent $42 with those disc things, especially one of them being brand new sealed. I should be able to get my money back with those three. Everything else will be going onto eBay and Amazon. I had some one-off books for Amazon, you know, your five to $20 profit, nothing super crazy. But I found a lot of Isaac Asimov. I don't know how to say his last name. I'm not super big into science fiction, but I found a ton of paperbacks and other like mini magazine stories written by him. So, Based on sci-fi lots that I saw already and based on certain titles that I have, I am hoping for at least a $50 profit at the very least. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I also found Psycho Cybernetics and that book is always a bolo for me. I always know I'm at least going to make a $20 bill on it as long as the condition is good. So I made my money back from the return. I found some profits for Amazon and I found a couple items that paid for my whole purchase so the rest is profit so I did okay every single estate sale I went today went to today had a really good book selection so I just really lucked out with that usually at estate sales it's a couple bookshelves and that's it this last house was definitely the biggest as far as book options so I'm really happy about that so now I am going back to the house. I'm tired, I'm hungry. Yeah. And Izzy's tired and hungry and we're just gonna wrap it up for the day. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, hopefully you subscribe. And hopefully you subscribe.